quick, I want to discuss the future of the gauntlet. Now, I have enough cars right now in the lineup to take us out to the end of the year. Pops. Pops will be the last race of the season, of 2021. Um, and uh, so my thought process is, is at the end of that race, the, the race that Pops challenges the gauntlet, whoever's sitting on top, we will crown them track champion. And uh, I'll do something for them. There'll be a giveaway. There'll be something special for whoever that track champion is. Um, and then I want to do a reset for 2022. So any cars that are coming in from this point moving forward, I'm going to put them down here in the lineup for uh, for the 2022 season. Um, and that first Sunday in January will be the one where we, where we set the gauntlet. Those, the first five cars that race, those cars will, will race for positioning, and then we'll just move forward from there. So I, I will tell you this though, I think that last race, Brandon is probably gonna still be on the gauntlet, if not sitting on top, because that car is just fast. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's a good idea, what you think of that idea, um, but I wanna do a reset for 2022, and uh, if you want to race your car in 2022, send it in. Still send them in, and I'll start lining them up right here for the 2022 season. All right, so yesterday, I was at Target, and um, my, my wife had an eye appointment, so we were there at their, like, optical center so she could have her little eye appointment, and it was taking quite a while. And so, obviously, I went looking for Hot Wheels, and I found a pretty cool set of cars. Now, we others have already found this, and we've seen them on other channels, but, man... I found it. I think these are cool. Let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look at them. Here we go. All right, I know I just talked about the gauntlet, but guys, this Sunday, make sure you tune in to watch Mike, to watch Michael take on the gauntlet. I'm excited to watch this car go down the track. I always say this, but I truly believe that this car is gonna be fast. So it's got good weight and he looks cool. So he's gonna look good going there. But I think that's, I really believe that's gonna be a fast car. And I know I always say that, I'm like, oh, that looks fast. Um, I mean, if I'm gonna be real with you though, I'm a little worried for Dotson, man. This is a very light car. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well that's gonna do. But it might surprise us all. It might surprise us all because Rapid Nismo's on the gauntlet in that Honda Civic. And I really didn't expect that to be fast. And it's been up and down this gauntlet all over the place. All right, these uh, cars I found at Target. Check this out. It's the new Fast and Furious set. And I found the whole set. You know, there's there's five cars here. Oh man, I'm really excited about that one. But let's take a closer look at these. Now, of these five cars, this is my least favorite. It's one of my favorite castings. I really like the Toyota Supra. I just think that <clears throat> they kind of missed on this one with this flat paint. I don't think the flat paint uh, is good. You can see it actually is coming off inside the blister there. Um, the headlight, I mean, the, the front end looks nice. I like the tampo work, but that flat orange, they kind of missed on this stripe here. That doesn't look like it's right on where it's supposed to be. But I mean, even look, they, they painted over the Toyota sign in the back, the Toyota emblem in the back. Um, you, you can see some of the paint flaking off inside the card. I, so I really believe that that they could have done a better job with the paint with this car. It's a great cast though. I like the way this cast looks. So yeah, the Toyota Supra, Fast and Furious. This is out of the Fast Superstars. Um, love the cast. Wish they would have done a better job with the paint. So this is five of five. All right, so we got, we got there. And then four of five, we're going backwards here. We've got the 70 Chevy, 70 Chevy Nova SS. And guys, this silver looks amazing. I love the fact that the, the taillights are done. You got the SS there in the back. That just looks really good. I like the silver. I love the wheels. I think the wheels work. Um, the front end is done just so nicely. You got some hood details. You got the stripes that you know they go on the hood and then on the, on the trunk. I 
look at that front end. Those headlights look like glass. It's just done really, really well. So yeah, the 70 Chevy, the 70 Chevy Nova SS. I really should take some speaking lessons. Okay, so car five or car four of five. Go ahead and set that one in there. This one is probably my like this is my least favorite because of the paint. This one would be my second least favorite. Um, just because I'm not, I don't know, I'm not big on it being a four wheel drive, but it's a 70 Dodge Charger. And it's not really speaking to me. It was, I mean, it was kind of cool in the movie, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's nice. I like the fact that, you know, obviously it being a premium, it has all of the details done. The taillights are done up. You got, you got Dodge right there on the back. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. Not really speaking to me, but uh, it's kind of cool. At least it's not mud tires. I wonder if they could have done some sort of a snow tire. It seems how he's up in the snow, but no, that's that's a bad joke. That's just a bad joke. Um, like that Hemi right there. Yeah, it's it's all right. It uh, it's all right. Okay, so this next car, oh, dropping cars. Can't be dropping cars. Check this out. 70 Chevelle SS. First of all, look at those wheels and the stance. I mean, that is so aggressive. And it's full detail. You got the side indicators, the, the, the rear indicators right here. And then you come around the back not only do you have the tail lights and the SS, but you have a license plate. You have a California plate on it. I mean, come on. The detail work on this car right here is absolutely amazing. And then you come around to the front and look at that. Again, the headlights look like glass. And then you have the SS and the grill. The grill's done. I mean, this is my second favorite car in this set. I love how well this is done. Just the amount of detail you get for the price that you pay. This is very nice. This is very, very nice. This is the level that all of these cars, all these premiums should be on. Not this. Not, you know, having paint errors and and the, just the wrong paint. They should all be on this level right here because this is amazing. I love this. All right, so I saved the best for last. I went in reverse order because this one was two of five. So two, three, four, and five. I saved the best one in my opinion for last. And that's the Nissan Skyline GTR. It is in the classic blue. I mean, when you think about this car, this is the color that you think about. But look at the details. Just the details are amazing. There you go. You got the GTR right there. The tail lights are done. You can even see like the two tone with the orange in the middle and the red on the outside. Absolutely amazing. And then of course the, the front is done real nice. The headlights, the grill work. Just, just amazing. I love this car. This is one of the best ones they've done all year when it comes to, to this cast, to the Skyline GTR. Um, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, anywho, that's the new Fast and Furious Fast Stars. That's the whole set right there. This one is my favorite. You guys can tell me which one you like the best, but that's my favorite. This is a close second. This Chevelle is a very close second. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the new Fast and Furious, the uh, Fast Star set. So, now we're coming to the end of the video. And guys, I found, here we go. Also while I was at Target, 
And also while I was at Target, I had found another, oh my gosh, my chair, it's so bad. Found another one of these Hot Wheels Flames setups. And I think, dude, I think every car in here looks amazing, you know? But we can go, we got the Willys, the Hemi Barracuda, the Camaro, the Dodge Charger, and the Ford Falcon. Um, I'm digging that Ford Falcon. Let's open this up. Where's my blade? Of course, it's across the room. Alright. Let's open this up. And I'm gonna grab one of these cars for the photo montage. I've been doing purple lately for cars. That looks really cool. Hmm. Alright, let's get this open. Because you know these are gonna look so much better once they're open. I don't need to say it, you always cut away from yourself because you don't wanna have a bad day. Even though sometimes cutting away from yourself is difficult. All right, that's a good cut. And guys, when I, when I cut these open, I always cut the bottom like this because then you can just flip it out like that, slide the cars out, and you just slide them back in after you figured out which ones you're gonna use. Oh man, look at how good they look uh, out from behind the plastic. They look so much better. They look so much better out from behind the plastic. That purple looks good. You know what though? Let's do this guy. Let's do this guy. This is the Ford Falcon. That front end on that thing. All right. Photo montage, here we go. <laughs> 